um, the Atlanta Journal Constitution has made a list after interviewing a bunch of nurses, asking them what their pre shift habits are every single day, right? What, what are these pre shift habits? Why do you do these pre shift habits? And how does this help you throughout your shift? Um, and we are going to go through the story, and then I am definitely going to want to know, Tina, what your specific pre shift <laughs> habits are. Um, because you're a fantastic nurse, Tina. You know, we know it, and the rest of your team knows it. So the Atlanta Journal interview nurses um, asking them, just like I said, what their pre-shift habits are and why it's important. The structure of a daily routine is key in helping to deal with the inevitable unpredictability of the medical field. Additionally, a daily routine can benefit our health and mental well-being. So when I read through this article, right, and I'm happy that they interviewed nurses, but a lot of this stuff seems super, super simple and super straightforward. But I promise you. I promise you, there are many, many nurses that don't do this every single day and many, many nurses that can, um, uh, that would, this would help them greatly if they decided to do this every single day before each shift. I know sometimes it's impossible. I know sometimes it's hard, but I think it's very, um, very, very important that they do so. So I'm just going to quickly go down the list. Number one, so there were five main um, uh, pre-shift habits that uh, these nurses spoke of. Number one, they talked about sleep. Number two, they talked about coffee. Number three, breakfast or dinner. I, it says breakfast, but I also added dinner because I am a night shift folk, and I know people like to forget about them night shift folks. Um, number four, bring <laughs> snacks. And number five, preparation. So, Tina, before you tell me what your mm -hmm. pre-shift um, habits are, I want you to tell me which of those five do you think you get done most often and which of those five do you not do at all? Um, I usually don't get enough sleep, so I guess I shouldn't start with that one. Sorry, I'm starting with the ones I don't do. Um, <laughs> well, the coffee thing is just, I have to have my coffee every day. It's not even a question, and everybody at work knows it. They will literally look at me and be like, do you need coffee? Do you want me to go down and get it? That's <laughs> like, right. How do you get your coffee? Yeah. What kind of coffee do you like? Um... Well, I like Starbucks, but I mean, I'll, I'll just drink whatever, but I, at, if it's a Starbucks kind of coffee, I usually like it, um, with 2% milk and vanilla bean powder. Okay. So you have your specific go-to and that's your wake me up. And I have to ask, uh, before, is this something that you do even when you have your days off or is it only when you go to work? Okay. Well, the coffee I drink every day, Dang whether man. I work or not. But, so that's that's good because that keeps mm -hmm. you on schedule even on work days. But I will say, as far as a, a morning routine, I don't um, I don't do the same. I only I only do my routine um, as far as work goes. The morning that I'm working, as far as like uh, like drink like eat, eating uh, breakfast, I always eat breakfast before I go to, into work. Always, 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 always. Um, because I have had times when I tried to not, well, actually what I said I was going to do is I don't want to eat breakfast at six o'clock in the morning. So I'll just, I'll just go in and kind of get settled and then I'll go downstairs and get, um, breakfast. And then I blink twice and it's three o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. <laughs> right. That's how it always is. Even yeah. when you try to be it, like you try to set yourself up, um, so no, no, I, and I agree. So for me, sleep is a must. So if I don't sleep, like people know at work, um, one second, I'll just smile the camera. So people know me at work. So if I don't get enough sleep, my, that, my, that day for me is ruined. People are like, oh my goodness, Q didn't get enough sleep. Just leave him alone. Help him if he needs it. Cause God damn it. He had enough sleep for me. Coffee is a hit or miss. Like I don't do coffee that much. I just need something to drink. So bottle of water, coffee, tea, doesn't matter if, as long as I have some fluid going into me, that's totally fine for me. Um, the only thing here that I'm a little confused by. So they have here on one of the, uh, on the list as preparation and their definition of preparation is meditation listening to loud music on your way to work for distraction um, or just getting to work early enough so you can look people up what is your definition of preparation or are you the nurse that shows up five minutes after your shift is supposed to start just rustling things together no i have to for one thing i'm i'm i like to get into the parking lot about 15 to well probably more like maybe like 30 minutes before I have to clock in. It takes like, it's a 
five minute trek from the car to the cl- where we clock in because it's <laughs> far as you know but um i have a, things I, I do in the car so I, I like to get there early and get a good parking spot and then i have to sit there and like um eat my breakfast and drink my coffee and scroll uh, through my phone, looking at different things. And I text um, my sister or, you know, just, I have things I want to, I need to do. I have to do. And if, uh, if I get there later, I still, I'm like, <sighs> one day I was joking around and I opened the door and one of my coworkers uh, was, was uh, coming by and I said, Hey, um, I'm going to be late. Could you go ahead and do it all? And she was like, you're here at the same time I am. I'm like, I know, but I just got here. I got to sit in my car for 15 minutes. She was just like, get your butt out of the car. <laughs> Obviously, no, I was kidding. I love it. But it is serious. I do. I It drives me crazy if I get there later than, you know, if I don't get there early enough that I can sit there and um, have that time, you know. Yeah, no, and I think I think that's super important, and that's why I, I I asked about preparation because everyone's definition of preparation is different. Um, but it is important to have that whatever you need, whatever you need to get your mindset ready. From I'm rustling to get ready for work to let me think about what's going to happen to work, or let me settle myself so I'm ready for work. Whatever that means for you, if that is meditation, if that is loud music, if that is eating your breakfast in your car while scrolling through Facebook. That's your thing. Whatever your thing is, you need to have it done. Whatever you need to get done before you get um get, get started at work. I I really I think this is huge for me because when I started as a nurse, I, it was every day was a different thing. And how every day is a different thing coming into work doesn't make it makes everything a little ha- harder, right? You just need to be ready every day once you get um once you get to the door, once you check in. You want your mind to be in the right place and you want to be ready to rock and roll. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate this. If you guys were informed or educated in any way, shape, or form by these stories, um, please hit that like button. If you liked my presentation of the news, I really suggest you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time Q the Nurse drops some hot, fresh press news. Thank you. Catch you next week. Deuces.